out here in the garage patio is a little chilly, you know. But look at that, I got my got that, got my Eastern Cape cap on that I actually bought from an Eastern Cape woman who was, was a Cape Town. And look, I got my Cape Town t-shirt on. This is a Table Mountain, you know, right here, where you would have uh, a Devil's Peak uh, Table Mountain proper and a uh, Lion's Head. I call it Lion's Head and Rump, whatever. Got a mud cloth coat that was given to me from, uh, gifted to me from my, uh, my brother, big time Africanist, you know, you know, Egyptologist that, you know, religious scholar. He wouldn't call himself a religious scholar. I call him a religious scholar. All that kind of thing. A big brain kind of guy. <laughs> oh, my uh, Justice uh, First book that I got from the, the, the pastor down in South Carolina. I was down in South Carolina. I met him at the, uh, at the festival. At the, uh, whatever. I guess I'm going to put a oh, button right there, like that. Oh, American jeans, black. I only wear black jeans. I don't wear. I don't wear blue jeans. I had a trauma. See, see the black. Oh, doesn't matter. Black jeans. <laughs> oh, glasses from the VA. Man, look at that. I'm ready. Oh, here's what I'm talking to you. Let, let me let me tell you what my, my my recording day looks like. When I wake up in the morning, sometime before I even do anything. No, that's not that true. I wake up in the morning immediately within a half hour, whatever have you. I immediately with with whatever my eyes puffed up and everything like that. Not that they're not puffed up. Huh? Uh, I do a reading from the Gullah Bible, you know, the, the the New Testament from the Gullah Bible. It's like a practice thing I'm doing. I'm trying to put my 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 my, my head my headspace into like free a, a newly free slave trying to learn how to read. What would they be reading? How would they be reading? It kind of thing. It's just a it's an exercise, it's a personal exercise. But that's, that's every morning I read out of the New Testament, the Gullah Bible, and then uh, when I go for my walk, uh, usually I talk to my instant, and that also of course that gets put up on this channel here, on my, my YouTube channel. It's under Sunday Sermons or Gullah, whatever. Or um, and also, uh, I uh, when I go for my walk, I, I then I, I check in with my Instagram. Instagram, I'm usually doing something, I would say, something I have knowledge of, that like, or maybe like first-hand knowledge of, or something I really know intimately, or something I've studied or researched, whatever. I, well, not, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, beyond a, 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 what do you call it? Well, anyway, something I, I'm interested in. Okay, and then and then okay then of course on on Sundays I do the my reading from the scripture as according to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. in his compensatory concept uh, code book. So I read that's that's more that's my activities all all the time. Once in a while I'll do a, a, a like like I'm doing right now, which I just get on the um, on the YouTube just to document something's happened in my life or some something that I did. I was listening to fit into other things. I'm not really. I'm going like, eh, just an opinion. You're not, actually not supposed to be listening to this now. You know, you pay attention to my. Go to the interview channel, the interview playlist, and, and check out my interviews. Those are really good. Anyway, uh, but it came. It has come across my desk. <laughs> I like to say this. Well, it's come to my attention that there was a slap heard round the world last night, and I just got to say something about it because it's. See, I'm an audio dramatist, and you can't write a script. Better than this, you cannot, cannot. I have what I have, the first thing I have to say, maybe the, the most important thing I have to say. Look, in this day and age, even back when, you don't mess with comedians, okay? You just don't mess with comedians. Don't just don't do it. <laughs> just don't mess with comedians. I, that's all I have to tell you, right? First of all, they're super smart. Their IQs are usually off the hook, but they're just really smart. If they don't have IQ, they have SQ, you know, social quotient, whatever. whatever. They, have all, they have all the cues that the comedians do, right? And of course, because especially in this day and age, if, say, for instance, you're a rapper and you and you want to put out a, a diss rap, well, the thing has got to be like two minutes, at least two minutes long. I mean, you know, you got to have to dig the hook, the hook, the You got to do all that stuff in there, you know what I mean? At least two minutes, right? They didn't cut out to a minute 30. But a comedian, if you, a comedian, if you got clips, clips can be anywhere from like 30 seconds to, to, to three hours. Comedians are like, they, 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 they're they perfectly packaged. They they survive without the, the they, they, they can survive without the company. So say for instance, you're a company person. Let's say you're Will Smith, you're a company person, right? 
Okay, you got you got responsibilities because you know people look up. You play characters that people look up to. You know, like Hancock. No, I should say only kidding, only kidding. You know, you, you play characters that, that that especially children. You know, they, they look up to you. They they want to be like you. You, 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 you. Carry a little dignity. You know what I mean? That's the whole thing. When they want, they don't want black men to be wearing dresses right now. It's not because they don't black men should be wearing dresses. It's like if it becomes a phenomenon, and everybody be looking. Oh yeah, black men can wear dresses. That's that kind of thing. You understand, you understand what I mean? But if you're a company man, you're still a company man. I.e. let's 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 say let's let's say Kevin Hart. Let's take Kevin Hart, right? When he when when they try to make him apologize for something that was done a long time ago, and then they, they and then the company said, "Hey, we don't want no drama. You got you got you, you know we ain't gonna have you. You ain't gonna do what we said. We you, we ain't gonna do what we said you was gonna do." That's that's what happened with Kevin. But Kevin, he a comedian. He can keep on working like that. Now you an actor, or even an artist, you know, like a singer, or rapper, whatever you are, a musician. If the structure, if the uh, structure say, "Hey, yo, man, you know, no, no more film for a while. Sit down. You know, you can't do this or whatever that." Then you see what I'm saying? You got more strings. And then plus, if you got, let me tell you this. Let me put this way: the person, the worst, the person that came out looking the worst out of this is Jada. Okay, the second worst is Will, and quite frankly, Chris Rock looked like he was he. I think Chris Rock just come out like I was just doing my job, man. I just got slapped. <laughs> I guess got slapped on live TV for doing my job. <laughs> I took the slap and I came back right away with a joke. I got I still got him in the pocket. I wasn't gonna let him let the audience out the pocket, so I did that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was I got a little fl fluffle there with the, you know, with the, with the, uh, with the saying the denouncing thing. But up in man, so I did my job, right? And plus, they made it known. I don't know about the whole hair thing, and, the, and she and, and Jada got bent out of shape because somebody said something about hair that she's losing or whatever, whatever that drama was. But you, comedian, you in the audience, you, you in your front thing, you the comedian. That's what any comedy show they got the. You see, so if you sensitive about something, then you you behind. Okay, so maybe it's not your fault because for what I understand, actually I saw the clip too. What I, I saw the clip, you know what I mean? What I understand. She, Jada gave Jada gave Will a, a look, cause Will was enjoying the joke. But then Will looked over her, and then he, well, I guess that still makes Jada look bad because she got the power to take this man that's played superheroes and tell him, "You better speak up for you better speak up for my womanhood." Now remember, a few <laughs> because you know we run this thing. Remember before we had, you know, uh, uh, Oscar so black or whatever have you? Now I bring the black people in. You better act black. We'll go up there and act black. So we'll, you know, the, what, what, do you, what are those males called? The the ones that, the, 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 the alpha, the delta, the, the, not the deltas, I'm a sigma. What's the other one? The, 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 the not the gammas. The, one of those males that that uh, that you know the, the second they just wimpies right, so he portrays or whatever. But in the in the whatever, then he because he went up there and smacked another man for telling the joke. Okay, but like the, the, but the thing is, on live TV, he he pulled what's he from North Philly, West Philly? He pulled a Philly thing. <laughs> he pulled a black Philly thing. On live TV, I don't know what the fallout's gonna be, but this is hilarious. But think of the script. Here's the here's the couple, the power couple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say here's Jada. She started this whole thing, right? Her whole behavior, right? I'm not jumping on Jada. I'm just saying this is the perfect. This is why people write scripts like this. Okay, women want their women empowerment. This is a woman empowerment story, right? First, the man that she loved dies or gets shot. Kill like Tupac, Tupac, right? And she, you know, destroyed for for many a year, you know. And then we'll come along, and you know, he say, well, look, you know, blah 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 blah, and they get together. Now all of a sudden, then all kinds of things happen after a few years of marriage. All kinds of things happen. When I say a few years, you know, start with drama with the children. You say, wait a second, what kind of couple is this? Which is no, it's all right. They're actors. Come on now, they you. You, you can't expect an actor to raise their child. You can't expect a, per a celebrity, a person in the spotlight to raise their child the same way you raise your child, <laughs> whoever you are, you know? Anyway, so that drama. Then we have the whole entanglement drama, right? Now, now, now with that drama, because 
you as say a black man can't control his woman wait first can well forget the woman part can't control his children or make his children represent you in a way that you want to be represented as you want to be represented that way and at the same time a man a man could be in your house it doesn't matter if he boinking you boinking your woman but in your house boinking your woman that's a whole other I'm quite sure the money that bought the house is not forget the money part my point is the place that you cohabitate to, uh, yeah, without the permission, uh, maybe you have permission. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. All I'm trying to say, it, with permission, it's fine because adults do what they want to do. But you see, so now we come to this point and then you got the whole crusade about the, you know, whatever. And, and oh, 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 then Jada's got the red table. Maybe this, that red table, I don't watch it. I don't know anything. I, I just hear about it. Maybe this was a whole publicity stunt for red table talk. I mean, I'm, Chris, I'm sure Chris wasn't in on it, but think about it because she's the person that perpetrates everything. But if if she gets Chris, because he's got he's doing, well, his tour is going to be sold out now more than ever. But Chris and, and Will on the table talk and they're all talking together. Think of the ratings that's going to be. Oh, genius. She is a, she's a genius. She wrote the script. <laughs> Give the boy there, and the boy go up there and smack, and the big there take it, and do it. Then, then, and then here's the, here's the thing: then we'll mess up because I, I, I didn't I didn't see the speech. I'll tell you too if I didn't watch. I, I'm, I'm reading now, man. I'm not. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> he messed up his speech. You know, his King Richard speech. He won. Okay, I got to see that. All that stuff. Great. Um, <laughs> so, so these shows now. Hey, forget the movies, uh, the, the people, whether they see the movies or not, you know what I mean, stream the movies or whatever it is. If these little snippets, this this is so precious. This is why the internet is so great, because you get the little snippets. And now everybody buzzing about it, including me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. As I, this is the afternoon, this is late afternoon, guess what I got? And to match, to match my outfit that I told you about, see, from Ireland, I got the Irish people. It's late afternoon, man. It's like I'm getting off work or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Skull. <laughs> As I said before, let me say it again, because I just like I like my out outros. Wait a second, hold on a second. And you do realize you're special, because only the YouTube channel gets the real outro. Which is, you know, me. This is me. T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.